Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting a hypervisor is not running error on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the command prompt. So open up start menu, type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this elevate command line window, you want to go ahead and just type in exactly what I'm going to have in the description of the video. So I'm going to just actually copy it and I'm going to have it in the description of the video. So just copy it right out of my description. So control C or if you want to highlight over and then right click copy, whatever you prefer, but just copy it out of my description. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it one time, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. It should say bcd edit space forward slash set, and then another space hypervisor launch type, and then another space auto. When it enter on your keyboard one time to run the command, it should say the operation has completed successfully. Now hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. If you're still experiencing an issue, so if we close out of here, you need to open up the start menu, left click on the start button one time. Type in Programs and Features. Underneath Settings, you want to select where it says Turn Windows Features On or Off. So left click on that. Don't select the best match in that case. So when this Windows Features box, it might take a moment to load up. You just want to be patient here. Now you want to expand the Hyper-V folder, so click on the little plus sign next to it. Now you want to do the same thing for the Hyper-V platform. However, I cannot actually have it installed on my computer, so I lack that ability. But if you did and this was not grayed out, you would click on the little plus sign next to Hyper-V platform. And then the next folder should say Hyper-V Hypervisor just check mark that. So basically one more step after this Hyper-V platform you just would expand that one more time and then it would say Hyper-V Visor. You would check mark that and then left click on OK. Please keep in mind there's also a chance if it's not allowing you to expand it that you will have to go into your BIOS settings and enable virtualization. However I know for a fact that my system will not allow me to do that but it's definitely worth noting if you guys in your normal Windows computers, this is a virtual environment I'm actually in right now, so sometimes there's limitations with that to actually demonstrate, but I feel like it's pretty straightforward from here. So again, Hyper-V platform, you'd expand that, so another plus sign next to it, and then you would check mark the folder next to Hyper-V hypervisor, and then you just left click on OK. So again, pretty straightforward tutorial, I like to think. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.